So I've been seeing this um this little issue on things like Twitter, you know, and Facebook, uh, sort of like this little movement that's been going on for a while, and you know, I want to give my little response to it. So I don't think you guys know. So let me put this out there for you who do not know. There was a actual YouTuber named uh, Submoto who is you know responsible for doing things such as like giving information out like leaks or anything of the new Borderlands 3 game which is going to be coming out soon. Um, the problem is with that Take 2 and 2K games had done something supposedly which was untrue but they did not confirm that it's not untrue uh, and that is sent to private investigators to his house to question him about the leaks and all the stuff that he's been giving out on his channel and with that there have been major um content um disclaimers and there are major um copyright um um complaints on his video and with that his also discord channel was um taken down now with that um i have like a little bit of a issue with that you know i have a little bit of a response to that because you know because of that situation something like hashtag boycott borderlands 3 was trending constantly and with that it was something that you know he did in regards to the video game like leaking like information um they like, i would say you know about the game that wasn't leaked out yet by the company itself uh apparently he got the information somewhere i'm say i'm thinking that it's from somebody in the inside of the company i'm hoping not because that person should not be working there something like that is going against his contract that person should definitely lose the chance to um to definitely you know get get lose his job because that's that's information that literally goes ahead and goes against company policy and that gives out a lot more information than what the company wants to give out so for instance in some models actual discord there was um things like you know uh like things of promoting and distributing cheats for the games and and hacked and and hacks and cracked accounts and with that you know that's something illegal that he did um especially without giving out the leaks that wasn't really his right to do so um when it comes to a lot of the things that you know giving out any of the information for the borderlands 3 leave that to the company that's not for him to do so uh, I don't agree with the fact of them sending the investigators uh, to question him at his house. I think something like an email or a phone call would have been better. I don't think the guy is that messed up to say, oh, no, I'm not going to do it. But if he did, then there's a reason on why he did it. And, you know, he ended up getting penalized for that. Now, with that, um, 2K and Take 2, a representative actually was on The Verge and actually had a response to that. So I'm going to put it up so you guys can see it just in case, you know, I read it too fast, but I'm going to read it to you right now. Submodel then states that on July 25th, 2019, two private investigators hired by Take-Two came to his house questioning him on a variety of subjects including his streams, his channel, and his content. 2K and Take-Two have not confirmed or denied this taking place but give a statement to The Verge saying that the companies will take the necessary action to defend against leaks and infringement of any of our intellectual property that not only potentially impact our business or partners. The representatives also told The Verge that the information he's sharing about the situation is incomplete and in some cases untrue. Not only were many of his actions illegal, but they were negatively impacting the experience of other content creators and our fans in anticipation for the game. Following these events, copyright claims were made on the content of Submodel's channel using these thumbnails while his Discord account was terminated for being involved in selling, promoting, or distributing cheats, hacks, or cracked accounts. As a result of this information being widespread, hashtag Boycott Borderlands 3 began to take off on Twitter. Now, I, as I said, I don't agree with the private investigators. I do understand where, you know like the stuff like leaks or any type of hacks or cheats that go against business policy or any type of policy of the game because in most games especially like borderlands you do set up like um or you do accept a type of agreement about stuff like that and with that you know a lot of people 
got upset of what um, the representatives from Take Two and 2K had did to Submato. Now, here's my opinion of the whole situation. As I said, I don't agree with the investigators being sent. I said a call or email should be a major thing, but I do not agree with Submato nor the boycott. Um, I think Submato's place was not to, was literally to give out supposed information, but the thing is, he was not paid to do so, he was not given rights to do so, so he did something illegal. And with that, he ended up doing something that was against policy and they had to send the investigators. Um, I think he knew that it was wrong to do so and he did it on purpose where he think he had a right to. He does not have a right to. The company has a right to. Nobody has no right to send out any links or any leaks or any type of ideas of cheats or anything with that unless the company say so. And you know, with that, I understand the, the copyright claims and all the issues with it. Um, you know, things like, you know, selling and distributing information on the Borderlands 3 video game is definitely something that is illegal. And, you know, that's something that could be majorly wrong and lead to a lawsuit of people to do so. Um, I don't think that, you know, it should be right to, for people to go ahead and leak something like that and then cause an actual lawsuit to do so. That's not something that they have the right to do. You guys don't have that right. Um... I understand where also the boycott came in because the boycott is for two major reasons because of the submodo YouTube channel and also because of the Epic's, Epic Games exclusivity. Um, I don't believe that this game should be exclusive to Epic. Um, I heard that their platform has major issues, you know, with different hacks of the accounts. I don't think that's something that they should be able to do. I think, you know, that kind of takes away from another area like Steam where they won't be getting it for until another six months. Um, I think that kind of kills a lot for it. I don't think that's fair, but also one point I believe it was because they um they were paid they were paid the exclusivity. So kind of the thing is that money does talk. Money does make a big difference. But with the boycott, I do not believe that this boycott will go through. I don't believe that this boycott will work. I don't believe that this boycott will work for many different reasons. A lot of people do have these opinions. I do agree that, as I said, that the actions of Take-Two were a little bit too far, but they have to take those actions for for many different reasons. Um, sometimes even a call or an email won't be good enough. Um, the boycott won't work for these many reasons. Um, it's too far deep into the game. A lot of people have pre-ordered this game. A lot of people have, um, you know, already waited for this game. And it's coming out in September. It's already August. And now when people waited for this game and people wanted for this game, if they want to take out Borderlands 3 because a couple hundred thousand people didn't like what they did, that's going to make everybody else suffer. That's going to make for those who anticipated for the game to come out and wanted the game to come out and liked to s like what they're showing, like the characters and like the content. And, you know, if they take it down, that's going to make other people upset. That's going to take a lot of people... Um, you know away from the experience which is borderlands and borderlands is an amazing experience from all the games from like tales from the borderlands you know borderlands 1 2 and the pre-sequel now the boycott with this will also not work because of the fact that it is a borderlands game this game is bigger than the boycott and i'm sorry to say that but they do have a right to un to be upset about you know what they did they do have a right to that opinion it's just that with that it's not big enough in an opinion to take down the borderlands game because borderlands game the borderlands game has made a major impact in the gaming industry and you know with that a lot of people would suffer if the game got taken down so with me i will still buy the game as I said, I'm not with the boycott at all, but I do understand uh, why they're upset. I do understand the reason for the boycott, but as I said, I don't agree with the boycott at all. I do not agree that the boycott is worth it. Plus, I also think that the boycott is not worth it or even going to work. This game is still going to come out and people are still going to buy it. And, you know, the thing is with that, it's just, it just changes a major thing about it. And as I said, people can still boycott about it, but... 
as I said, I don't think the boycott is gonna work. A lot of people have boycotted s like similar things or similar games, and it did not go through. Um, I think a lot of people don't understand that boycotts just are just limited, especially with opinions. Certain opinions are limited, and um, the problem is people can have those opinions. But it's just that if somebody is willing to listen and the companies don't seem to want to listen because this is a highly anticipated game, then if they take it off, the company loses money and the people who pre-ordered it lose out. But that's just my opinion on the game um, or, you know, my opinion on the whole entire boycott on this. Um, I want to know about your opinion on it. I want to know about what you guys think about it. But... You know, definitely subscribe to the EHG community. Definitely turn on your notifications when we get new streams and new videos set out. Definitely go ahead and join us on our Discord channel, our Facebook page, and definitely subscribe to our moderators where all links are in the description. But this is your boy CrazyMates98, aka Nicholas Morales, founder of the EHG community. And uh, thank you for tuning in. As I said, in the comments, by all means, tell me what your opinion is. I want to know.